having a great day? Yeah. yeah! So I'm so excited, this is actually the first time for me that I can act like the old wise man, right? So normally I was used to be always the youngest guy, and now finally we found a team here. So it's, we're going to spend a few minutes talking to these uh, brand partners, Swedish brand partners, uh, that have success in Vima and been in for a while to talk about their tips about how to recruit people in the young generation and as everybody know, the world is changing faster than ever. I mean, a few years ago we didn't have Facebook. Today we call for free worldwide. I mean, before we, we dialed this uh, prefix, at the fixed phone. I mean, fixed phones are almost gone. I mean, you can develop uh, international businesses like 10, 10 different countries with, without even knowing the language, with all the tools we got. So, and if you go to the bank today, you meet like young people going there to listen to uh, how to save money for their retirement. I mean, their job is not the same as an income anymore. I mean, there are different ways to, to, to make income. And education is not equal to a job anymore. Big companies are shutting down. So we are in a time when people need something. And you know, like with the animals, the dinosaurs, didn't survive. They had the biggest muscles, but they didn't adapt to the new environment. So I think that we need to adapt to the new environment and take more responsibility for ourselves. So um, a special round of applause because we have a brand new presidential in the Swedish young team, Andreas Brenta. That is just 26 years, right? Yeah. Uh, 27 uh, on oh, one month. So the first question I want you to ask, uh, answer is what did your parents say when you started out the business and what does they say today? Actually from the beginning my mother had to work with uh, these uh, plastic uh, boxes so uh, she said to me uh, oh don't invest any money because <laughs> I have the garage full with these uh, plastic uh, things and it doesn't work but uh, I got her on the product and uh, now all my family uh, use the product, very good results and uh, we take them out on, on dinners sometimes and I know the business uh, works as well so uh, they like it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Great, thank you. So, do you hear it's quite, quite a kind of break to not listen to the parents all the time, right? Because if you do, you will end up in the same life as they. Next. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, my father told me that uh, it's crazy, it's a pyramid scheme and uh, don't do it and uh, after a while uh, I got him into uh, come to a Swedish event and uh, after he was there and see it all the day uh, then he said uh, to me, uh, I think I have some uh, good contacts for you again. So, uh, I think it's just about they don't have the knowledge about what uh, network marketing is. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so, is it that typically as well that when you see things, you believe them? So, that's why you should bring your parents here, right? And there is a kind of psychology, uh, like a barrier for parents to listen to the kids because they think like it was three years. Uh, three weeks ago, they changed the last diapers, and that they shouldn't listen anymore to uh, listen to their kids about the devices. So sometimes, you, uh, uh, as a young person, you might need a little bit more uh, persistence to prove that this is something worth listening to. Uh, but I think that's changing also in the world because before everybody were investing in the old wise man companies, but today they are looking for the next. A uh, company that is taking off, started by a like uh, a skating kid at the college, like Mark Zuckerberg, Facebook or something today. So I think we can use this in our business as well. Like, hey, this is something new. This is a new way to make money. Yeah. Yes. Uh, well, as a protecting father, you know, he looked into the business and he said, "That is well, here today." Uh, yeah, and he's sitting up there today. Um, so, uh, yeah, he was a little bit skeptical, um, but you know, as a protective father, but you know, af after a while when the checks are coming in, it's like, oh, you know, it's a little bit of results. And uh, my mother had a good response with the product, and um, today I have a uh, fantastic support for all my families, and that's really important for me. 
and my father drinks products and mother and you know when they are happy they start to talk to everybody else which is they're building my business so yes. great thank you so richard hello everybody i want to start off with my mom can you please stand up up there someone okay we're gonna start with uh, she's 45 years young yesterday so give her a round of applause Okay, that was good. Uh, and um, I just uh, want to tell, uh, she started off my business actually because uh, I bought some cans of uh, work and uh, she was coming to my fridge and see uh, lots of work and uh, tried it and she said it's good but I wanted small ones so she bought the uh, uh, Vima and uh, after like three months her cracked heels went away. So actually she started talking to everybody and uh, the business started off, so we're building together. Right. And now we have Marco Passamante that also rank advanced to became a star executive with 211 cycles last period. That's great. Yes, but I can I can tell I have a very supportive family. I grew up with a father that's when I was young, I wanted to be a professional soccer player, and when I grew up, I always said, stop dreaming, you will never make it, blah, blah, blah. And <laughs> once I started working with Vima, I came home, told him about it, the same story all over again. Stop dreaming, you will never make it, blah, blah, blah. But I think the first, when I was younger, uh, that affected me, but this time, just the feeling that he, he once again could say, I told you so, it wasn't going to happen. So that fueled my, my passion, my, my burning desire, so that made me work even harder. So. Thank you. Man. So and I think that uh, all of us agree that this business has added other things than just financials to our life. Like, if we took away all the bonus checks, it would still be okay to come here and listen to Darren Hardy today, or you know, having this great event and positive things, and PK talking about the future. Most companies talking about you know uh, downscaling and, and you know when should we shut down and how much money can we save. And here is a company investing in the future, right? So uh, the value that you get from this business is not only money, and it's a little bit difficult to other is good either. So uh, the. Working with the right thing is very funny, but the, the time freedom that I have today. I could quit my job and uh, I do what I really love to do. And Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you get used to the microphone after a while. So it's, in the beginning, it's difficult to get people up on stage. After a while, to get them off. So it's like, yeah, yeah. we're training. So the value for me, I think uh, I learned a lot. Uh, before this, I didn't uh, have many sales skills and uh, uh, this kind of skills to sit here and talk and so on. And uh, now I, uh, we even started a new company a couple of days ago, so uh, I didn't think that I was going to do that. So it's really nice. Thank you. And Richard got a funny story as well, because he's sponsored by his uh, mother-in-law, right? So you can imagine his situation, that it's kind of follows the system. Uh, well, yeah, it has changed a lot for me. Um, the first convention I was watching Darren Hardy, uh, took a lot of notes and then implemented that to my life and to the company. And I also train a little kids, and I'm teaching them today about like 10 years old to be entrepreneurs. So that's my goal, and yeah, I learn a lot. Love it. I think in this question, it should be easier to say what it didn't do to my life. I think it changed my whole life in the right direction. Uh, where I was working before was going up. When I'm working here, it's going up, and the check is going up as well. So I think uh, it's, it's very easy, easy to get the motivation to do this because it's such a great company and such a great product. Uh, I think it really is an unparalleled opportunity where you get, if you look at the wheel of life, where you get health, wealth, 
relationship, self-esteem, uh, experiences. So I think it's I couldn't have chosen a better career path. Thank you. The relationship, you mean that you met your girlfriend through music, right? Even That's it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the last question is, uh, one, what, what, everybody here, I think, would like to have these kind of people in your group, like are young, dynamic, I mean, they're hungry, they're calling you, they're positive, they, they want to build a, a future in Lima, and what is your most important tip for attracting the Generation Y, younger people? Uh, it's good to do the things on your own so you can show what happened. <laughs> but uh, all the thing that Brad says about uh, every guy I know already have to pay like 25 or 30 grams every day, uh, take a coffee and all this stuff, and just take a healthier alternative and do the business at the same time. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I think uh, to get the younger people, you can do it in many types of ways. But uh, uh, one of my uh, things is that uh, I have a boat, and in the summer, we, I take them out in the boat, and uh, a cooling bag, and some ice, and uh, after a while, when we went some water ski, and uh, then I pick up the works and uh, share them, and then I tell about the business, and uh, if someone not, is not interested in the business, I say, okay, then you can swim home. <laughs> so, uh, then, then they have to listen to the business. Great, so you, you see that application, his uh, mother in law forced him into the business, and now he's forcing people into the business. The question was how to recruit Generation Y. Oh, okay. Uh, so, um, yeah, well, say again? Yeah. <laughs> I think it is Swedish. The best tips for recruiting are. Ah, okay. Uh, well, the best uh, the best tips I have um, is to use uh, the the verb. I think that's a really door opener for just crack a verb and let the people taste the product. And Great, thank you. So we're running out of time. Richard, your best tip. The best tip uh, I can give is to use the energy you can get from people like Anders and uh, get excited about the opportunity and make it happen. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> My best tip is that network marketing can really provide a lifestyle at Generation 1. They want to be free, have fun, behave, and then you can really achieve this through the business. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Uh -huh.